hopefully you watched that last one. Um, now this is going to be part two. Don't do that way, that way. Um, this is another package. I don't want to show the address in case you can stop it and see the addresses of me or the gentleman who sent this. But uh, again, same story. I spend a lot of time on eBay when I'm bored. And of course, being in lockdown here for the past two months in Melbourne, Australia, I have purchased some kits. Now I'm going to open them and blind react to you uh, for purely content. There is literally no other reason why I do this. Um, shout out to everyone that does collect shirts. It's a fun thing to do, but always make sure to spend within your means. Don't overspend. So I always give myself a budget. I think the last month in uh, say, let's say September, I probably spent about 250, maybe $300 Australian. And of course I did sell some of my shirts through PFC Marketplace or just on Twitter. Again, if you are a new collector watching this channel, make sure to jump onto Twitter and follow a lot of people within the community. Do share what you want, do share what you want to sell. Best way to do it and it's a great community. There may be a few bad eggs, but you always find the good ones within the bad lot. I'm gonna open this, enough talking for me. A little bit of context, I don't know what it is. It definitely seems that it might be from Netherlands. I did buy a shirt from the Eredivisie, so I'm really excited. I think it may have been a spontaneous kit that I want to keep for a couple of months, do some photos and then sell it. But let's see, let's open this right now. We got in there. There's more packaging. All right, I'm not gonna look at the screen. That's how the package there. Close my eyes, I don't know what it is. I'm trying to find the area. I know this might seem strange that I'm, you know, opening packets with my eyes closed, but uh, it's a bit of fun. So, finally got through it. I actually really admire the person who sent these because they've given it extra protection. So that's, that's a great call. Now the kit feels so soft, really, actually really good condition. The collar line feels perfect. Um, almost feel like this is an ASMR channel now, but um, it does feel, oh, this is, I think this is the kit. Wait, does it have an, yeah, this is it. I reckon this is the Sparta Rotterdam. All right, so that's the front. Hopefully it's beautiful. That's the back. I'm gonna open my eyes in three. Two, one. A hey, Spider Rotterdam, and I got with the Kappa. So there's my context. I uh, fell in love with Kappa. I think a few people on Twitter have been posting about their Kappa kits, and everyone's having these kits full of their Kappa sleeves. And I got really envious, and I thought to myself, let's do a quick search. Let's see what I can find. And the first thing that I came across was this beautiful Kappa kit. Now, I don't have any context or any story about it, so I'm gonna quickly check my eBay and let you know what I bought. So today's kit is the 96-97 Spider Rotterdam kit from that season. Eredivisie team that, you know, look, I, I'm a PSV supporter. I don't like collecting shirts from other clubs in the leagues that I like, but I think when it comes to this kit, I fell in love with the Kappa, sort of detailing it, and I'm currently working on a little bit of a project that hint, hint, that I wanted to do some market research I've got a few kits in my collection that I'm definitely going to offset in the future. This is definitely one of those where I wanted to have it, you know, within my hands and hopefully in the future, you know, sell it to a better home. So if you are interested in this kit, please let me know in the comments below because I'd definitely be keen to sell it off in the future. But it's great because one thing I like about, it, like about this kit is that it features the Kappa logo twice within the center and on the side. So that's a, a great little bit of detail. And there is a few little pulls here and there, but of course, this kit here is from the 96 year, so it is and has been around a very long time. Whoever the seller was, I don't know who you are personally, but if you do watch this video, because I definitely will message you saying thank you so much for the product. You washed it, it smells great. The last episode, the kit smelled really bad, but this one is perfect. Everything is in great condition. Love everything about that Kappa you know, uh, verification. If you are looking to verify if you've got a fake or not, You've got the G-A-R-A -A sort of uh, mention on the tag here. If you are to look closer and there's a few little dots and the placement of the R is really a great indicator of your Kappa product being fake or not. But of course, everything with age like this is like a fine wine. If it smells off, you definitely know it's fake. But um, great condition shirt, love everything about this one. So I'm happy to have this a part of my collection for now.
And there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I know sometimes they're pretty quick episodes, but it's a little bit more easier for you and I to watch and make these videos. But as always, please make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube. Make sure to follow me on Reddit, Instagram, and Twitter. But as always, please stay safe, stay away from stupid people, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.